welcome to Somewhat Nerdy Radio. We are your hosts. I am Snarf Chris. I'm Critter. Welcome to the show. Yes, welcome back. Uh, uh, this is uh, issue eight. We're going to kind of bring back, uh, if you're familiar with our content in the past, um, was it chapter one? Volume one. Volume one. That made up thing that we said. Uh, we used to do one shots. <laughs> that doesn't kind of fit the format of anything. Uh, it's just kind of stuff we wanted to talk about. Well, we're going to bring that about because we... There's a lot to talk about. Warner Brothers, Discovery, <sighs> DC, DC EU, not EU. knowing whatever they're doing, you know. Uh, before we get into everything, no, go follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Follow us on, you know, all the podcast apps. Leave us all the reviews. Five stars, thumbs up, hearts, hugs. Whatever, whatever it is. Whatever the flavor of it is. Go do that. Uh, before we get into it, I'm going to talk about something on that we talked about on the last podcast, and that was our Batman list. Yeah. Since then, I've seen the Robert Pattinson movie. Oh, fucking finally. Yeah, finally. It took me forever. Yeah, that's strange, but uh, go on. It's fucking amazing. Yeah. It's what you said in the podcast. It's uh, Seven meets Batman. I, I'm not particularly fond of his Bruce Wayne. Also, I don't think i should ever look at bruce wayne and think i can take him i can take robert patterson <laughs> he's probably like but the fight scenes are great man. yeah the fight he the looks fight good as, he looks good as batman i said it also in that episode uh last episode uh it's me and you would look good in a batman outfit well i mean i, I mean like anybody would look good in a batman outfit eh, almost anybody eh, Whoever goes eh, that. it's debatable debatable but uh, robert patterson i i Think, I think he deserves to be where we put him on the list. Oh, yeah, I stand by that. But I enjoyed the fuck out of the movie. Oh, yeah, it, it was it was good. Um, If I were to rate the movies, I'd put that like, near it's the high. top. It's I, high. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I Dark agree. Knight would still be number one, and then it would be... Yeah, Tim Burton, okay. Batman. It'd be a toss-up between those two. Uh, Tim Burton, Batman is number two, and then this movie would be number I three think, for me. I think this one is just gives it a strong run, in my opinion, because it it's just a, it's a good movie. It is. Like, if you took away Michael Keaton's Batman being Batman, there's no story. Yeah, there is no story. <laughs> so, I mean... It, I mean, but it's, that's what it is, yeah. so it doesn't have to be. It's it's good. I'm glad they made it. Uh, I'm hoping that one day we might get a sequel. That kind of blows my mind, because they haven't greenlit a sequel to the Batman movie. Yeah, which brings up some of the weird news that we are getting from the DCEU, or, or Warner Brothers, I should say, Warner Discovery... Uh, since that merger, they've they uh, obviously the biggest controversy that led to all this was the cutting of Batgirl. Now they said this it is was a filmed done movie. Right? It's, it's done. They spent million ninety million or something it's fifty million. I don't know. Point is, they spent a lot of goddamn money on this movie, and then they decided to just trash it and take a take a tax credit. And now, Batman's in this movie, right? Michael Keaton. Michael Bat. Keaton Batman. So yes, and now there's the talk of all the Ezra Miller shit. Everybody knows what's going on with him. He's just a train wreck of a human being which makes no sense because he's just doing petty shit that a drug drug addict would do it maybe a little bit more but and what we're going to talk about the ezra miller stuff by the time this podcast release he may have already been arrested again the movie might already be canceled we don't know as of to the day we're, they were recording, recording this <laughs> It was... Uh, he hasn't murdered anybody. He issued it as an apology. Yeah, he He's just issued his apology help. last week. So, uh, and, and not to mention, the news came out yesterday. The Flash movie is the highest rated uh, screening, test screening, of a DCEU movie. And my problem, my only problem with that news is, I think from here on out until the movie releases, we're only going to hear good if press it releases, about the movie. Because if they it want releases, because they want to release it. Yeah. Because yeah. I think they do know that... I always heard it was pretty good, even yeah. before all this shit started kind of hitting the fan or coming to light i should say um but overall like i was pretty excited about it seeing michael keaton in here and and ben affleck back in it i mean i kind of think it's a witch hunt against michael keaton <laughs> that girl is gone and now so is this one i mean but possibly how, how do you promote this movie now how do you do press conferences how do you do press junkets without ezra miller because you can't have him there well and if if they did it'd be entirely different you know, how is this effect? It's like you can't have him on the bread carpet. You can't have him answering questions to press. You can't have him sitting in the chair just, you know, doing those quick fire questions unless it's media controlled, the Warner Brother controlled. Mm -hmm. So that means there's no entertainment news coming, no IGN. There's nobody going to do interviews with Ezra Miller because you can't. Yeah. So how do you promote unless a movie? Unless it's behind glass. <laughs> <laughs> So they're going to do like the old serial killer thing, you know? Yeah, it's going to be uh, Silence of the Lambs I with mean, Ezra Miller. Uh, I guess the smart thing would be is just uh, put Batman out there. 
make him do all the press conference. Oh, and... well, if you put Michael Keaton in front of anything, people are going to want to watch yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, I, I think I think they really underestimated the power Michael Keaton had in this background movie. Whether the movie is good or bad, that's beside the point. I mean, I can't imagine it would be just that unwatchable, that they would just scrap it. I don't why, know. Why would you not think? You know, some DC movies are totally fucking unwatchable. And the direction that some movies do go into in the DC universe are... I don't understand the thought process into making the movies. Um, well, we can talk about the Suicide Squad. I mean, it was, I would say, like a redemption story, thanks to James Gunn, but barely. 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 Then you get Peacemaker, and they there it is. They saved the entire franchise. There it is. There, there it is. But that that Suicide Squad, let's talk about Suicide Squad for one second. That made over a billion dollars yeah, in the I box know, office. I know. And people hated it. Yeah. But they still went and saw it. And Batgirl was a straight to streaming service. So, I mean, like, I don't know how they do their metrics. Yeah. Is it based on new subscriptions for HBO? But if HBO puts out content, people would watch it. Mm-hmm. You know, Titans, you had no option. You had to get it unless you're in Europe and then you can get it from Netflix. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I mean, like, if it, Harley Quinn, amazing animated show on HBO still Max. Still haven't watched it. Do I've never watched the Titan show. So, well, I think that one's done. And I, there's no telling if Harley, they're decent. CEU or uh, Warner Brothers was talking about eliminating a lot of the animated their animated yeah, budget. Actually, I got the list in front of us of things that have been canceled. Uh, Wonder Twins. Yep, fine. I don't give a shit about that. Uh, Supergirl uh, is pending. Blue Beetle is pending. Legends of Tomorrow is canceled. Green Lantern cartoon is pending. Uh, Batgirl is obviously canceled. The Penguin is pending. Peacemaker season two is now pending. I don't believe that. Uh, the Flash on CW, which I mean, it's kind of it's had already a long canceled. Run. Yeah, it's canceled. Uh, that's that's fine. Uh, Gotham Knights uh, is pending. Uh, Superman and Lois is pending. Basically, I'm gonna go through the list. Everything is pending. Right. Uh, yeah. The only thing that's 100 percent greenlit, which I don't fucking understand, is the Joker musical. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Do you see here how dumb that is? The Joker musical was Lady Gaga playing Harley Quinn. I don't hate the casting. No, I don't. I don't. I like the first movie. It's not Joker. I, uh, you can call it Joker all you want yeah, and yeah. put him in Joker makeup and everything. It's not a Joker movie. It's not a Joker, at least that we have known ever from the comics. I guess the only rendition of that Joker would be in The Killing Joke in the very beginning before he got doused in chemicals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they don't show his rise to how he became a criminal clown prince of crime. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like how he got henchmen and everything. Like, if, if I get in the movie how he inspired people, but mm-hmm. everyone hated him. Yes. So, like, I can... Because he's un- fucking annoying. <laughs> I can see that people would not follow him. I mean, like, they would be like, you know what? I don't, I don't, I'm not going to follow I this guy. I just want to be in the boardroom meeting. Uh, obviously, there's a pile of white powdery substance in the middle of the table. While that person is pitching that they want to make a musical sequel to the joker movie and then the board room members going yeah let's do that i want to be in that room well it it it, it got awards it got um praise i mean it was it was i think it made a lot of money for a rated r movie yes and so i think they they're and i like it with i do and, like and it. that's why i think peacemaker is going to do well too i heard an interesting take on why the Batgirl was canceled and Supergirl is pending slash canceled is because uh, from what it was implying was they were trying to make them the part of the Trinity that, you know, it would be instead of Batman and Superman with Wonder Woman, it'd be Batman. I mean, it'd be Batgirl, Supergirl and Wonder Woman. So the new execs were saying some of like, this is this is all speculation, mm-hmm. hypothetical. And this is, you know, you know, deep stuff down, we'll never find out yeah, the real answer deep to down it. a rabbit hole. Of, but it's something that they want to say that the Trinity is. Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Yes. So they don't want to mess with that, and they want to bring back Batman and Superman. Now, what in what capacity and for with who? Who the yeah, fuck? Yeah, knows? they're going to make a terrible decision and recast it. But yeah, yeah, they're going to make. Well, I have no doubt in my mind. There's going to be some terrible decisions, maybe some great ones too. But right now, I don't have a lot of confidence in it. Of with everything, I would have liked to see the super, uh, the uh, Batgirl movie. I mean, it could it be could it have been that bad? I mean, like Marvel puts out all of its shows were to me not super great. I mean, they're okay, but you know, you got the shows here, and then you got the movies that are just like way above it. You know, agreed. I, other than Thor, the most recent Thor, yeah, it was kind of bad. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, interesting. Um, if you were in control of the DCU, how would you 
fix everything from here. Oh, I, I would just turn Flash into a Flashpoint movie and reboot the universe. Reboot that, the universe. Yeah, universe. However, you see see fit. Bring people back. Let people go. This is a, this is an excellent opportunity to get rid of. Ben Obviously, Miller. new Flash. Bring Super back easy. Batfleck. Bring back Henry Cavill. I like Henry Cavill. I like Superman. Um, I like Ben Affleck. I like his Batman. Uh, Wonder Woman's name. Gal Gadot. Yeah, I like her. Jason Momoa can continue to play Aquaman. That's fine. fine. Bring back the cyborg guy from the um, the Justice League movie. I liked him. Who else was in that movie? Flash. Oh, yeah, that's Ezra <laughs> Miller. No, he's gone. He's gone. He's the first person. I've... Actually, I don't believe... I, I cannot believe... I, I don't know if it's just because they spent so much money on the movie that they have not canceled that movie yet. I, it, it is definitely a money. that They have so much invested in the movie at this point. I don't think that... Yeah, but $90 million for the, the Batgirl. I, yeah, but... Don't, haven't they spent like $200 million on this other one? Did they've been re- shooting this thing over and over again over the past like three years i can only imagine they can get so much for a tax credit i don't know how much they actually get from i mean that's that's rich people stuff i don't yeah. know <laughs> so <laughs> i mean f- f- you know the inner workings and unfortunately when when hbo and you know warner discovery gets rid of these shows writes them off you cannot view them ever again yeah on they're streaming. Cut, like aren't they cutting them off of the streaming service and everything completely huh? because they don't want to pay royalties on it so how does that work what they who are they paying royalties to well, anytime don't they own it? Well, no, but then you have to pay royalties to the to writers, the actors, to the actors, to the everybody. So I didn't even involved. think about that. Yeah, it's all money that if people view it, that's more money. I mean, it's tens of dollars, hundreds of dollars, right, depending right, right. on how much they have involved. But it happens. Everything's a penny. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, if they write it off and you can't view it, maybe you can buy it. I don't know. I don't know the legality portions of that, and I'm probably talking out my ass on this. This is just what I'm able to glean together. This is, I mean, a long time ago, whenever uh, digital media really started picking up, there was all these people online saying, y'all should download everything, because they can literally delete anything now, Mm -hmm. and it's gone. I'm not telling you to go out there and illegally steal stuff. I'm telling you to national treasure that shit and it belongs in a museum <laughs> so so it is interesting that that's the kind of route they're going and and some of the better properties like peacemaker and i don't believe that it's pending i think that's just something they're saying because it's too popular to get rid of it it was so so unexpected like whenever i sat down and watched it i peacemaker in the t- the, the movie he was all right i liked him in the movie i like john cena so but when i watched the show i was like well this feels like james gunn Oh, yeah. Like, the movie kind of felt, the, the dialogue felt very James Gunny, but then you had your stupid DC shit that was put into it. Yeah. Peacemaker feels 100% a James Gunn thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's so refreshing was a character that's totally fucking throwaway, and I kind of remember him from a comic book I read in the 90s, mm-hmm. and that's, like, my extent of my knowledge for him. John Cena sold the hell out of that TV show. Oh, yeah. And everybody in it, too. I mean, yeah, you got they're... Vigilante, which is knockoff uh, Snake Eyes, which I I always used to call them in the comic book. I cared about everybody in that show. So Yeah, it was super great, man. I mean, it's, you know, and then you got Shazam coming out, and then you still got that. So and, Shazam and, doesn't look all that great. Black but, Adam does not look all that great either. However, I don't think I've seen enough of Black Adam. I know everybody kind of says that, but dude, it is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And I typically like everything he's in. Here's the here's going to be the problem. I think he's going to be good in the movie. Mm-hmm. I think the movie's going to suck. I I can see that. I can see that. I can definitely see that. But I also just have some faith that it's going to have some rewatchability. That it's going to have some success. I no. I actually think it's going to make money. Uh, it's a DC superhero movie. The Rock is in it. I mean, there's not that many failure rock movies that I can think of. I can't think the Tooth Fairy maybe. Yeah, I don't know how it did. count anymore. Yeah, I mean that was so long ago. Uh, even Rampage, which is uh, I thought a throwaway movie, it, which is it's a great fucking movie. You know, uh, I think that made money. I I do think that it's a passion project for him. And if we learned anything from Deadpool, passion projects for comic book movies that the actor is heavily involved in and promoting and wanting to make end up doing relatively well. I can see that. Because we could say the same thing about John Cena. I don't know how much he had involved with pushing to get that show where he's like, I'm going to... He showed up to the premiere of Suicide Squad in Peacemaker because there's probably talk like, I want to do more with yeah. him. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right, let's get some Did you watch the behind the scenes stuff, was it? No. He did come up with most of the lines himself. I, this, I, like, I, the most sexual I, stuff that he came up well, with. Well, and That's I knew all he came him. up with the, 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 the... When he was going through, you can... who I couldn't think of any... You can't think of anybody else. And he went through oh, like yeah, 50 went... names. <laughs> <laughs> the red line from Voltron. Just fucking dumb shit. 
I, I laughed so hard watching that show and yeah. so many scenes i'm just just laughing and when when vigilante's getting tortured and he's like i'll i'll do it he's like just do it i do it <laughs> <laughs> but just everything about that show it's 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 solid, and that's kind of I, I passion know. projects, man. Yeah, Pay attention yeah, yeah. when the actor is heavily involved and the director's on board too. I don't think it's going to be as bad as people think. Right. I think people want to shit on it because, well, one, they're, they're it. Black Adam was originally a good guy mm-hmm. during that time. Now, how he is now, yeah, he he's not. He, mm-hmm. I mean, and I have a feeling they're not going to paint him as bad as the actually is in the comic yeah. where he's just pure fucking evil i think he's just bitter. I mean, even in the comic book he's going in and out of being that middle ground sometimes and i think that's more what we're going to see is the, the middle ground we're not going to see like fuck you adam I mean, black adam I mean, that's just not gonna happen I, I don't think so either but i'm i'm still excited to see it i'm excited to see the flash if it comes out um i'm gonna watch it i mean obviously michael keaton's in it uh batflex in it I mean, there's other rumors of other things that can happen. If if the Batgirl thing makes way, because if they were going to have Michael Keaton be the mentor to Batgirl, I, I, it, and it's nothing against this, I do think it would have been a waste with Batman Beyond right yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. Why nobody's pulled the trigger on Batman Beyond? I, well, and they even acted together. And the, everyone has done the fa- the fantasy cast of who would be in Batman Beyond. It's obviously Michael Keaton as older Batman. Mm-hmm. And then the dude that has been in the movie American Assassins with him. The kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from yeah, Maze yeah, Runner? Yeah, 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 yeah. That dude, what's his name? Uh, from I don't know. Was he in Dune? <sighs> no. Is that not the same kid? No. No, this he was in Love and Monster. This kid's actually like a pretty good actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's likable. He 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 can do action, obviously, from right. from that movie. I mean, they acted together, they already have a rapport. Fucking go with it. He'll whisper in his ear every once in a while that I'm Batman. Dylan O'Brien. That okay. was his name. Yeah, Dylan yeah, yeah, O'Brien. Yeah. yeah. So him as Terry McGinnis, and then that would be great. Um, maybe maybe he'll make room for that. In which case, yeah, it's a big L for a uh, Batgirl. But if it leaves that open, I I'm now I'm for that. But it does all that suck being said. If is that's what why these things are happening, and and it's obviously last month we got parts of inside the investors call about they have a they're trying to build a ten year plan. Mm -hmm. for the dc universe try to build and their exact words were a marvel universe ran by a person like kevin feige you know what congratulations having spending having that kind of meeting when literally everybody has told you that since you started with man of steel how how long ago did man of steel come out (laughs) yeah you guys movie's like 10 years old though now right you guys you guys fucked up like this is something y'all should have been doing every time they release a movie outside the dcu joker as much as i uh i like it uh the batman you know all these movies that are outside of the normal universe and then all these other movies that you're like is it in universe is it out of universe we don't fucking know there's like one carryover character that shows up after the end credits that i I want it more cohesive then make the like joker type movies the batman type movies call them elseworlds explain to us that they're elseworld movies that they're outside the universe and then work on not fucking up the dcu for now on yeah because i mean like i i did hear now again this is all just speculation and buzz because obviously the second movie hasn't been officially greenlit yet they were talking about either like a court owls of for right, for yeah, two yeah. or deathstroke man i would like do both but here's the problem they both have ultra elite assassin type fighters yeah. and in no offense to robert pattinson he's gonna get killed I, I, <laughs> so. yeah. I mean especially someone was like oh bring back uh what's his name john magalagongo the, the guy that was in the dceu as deathstroke originally oh yeah yeah, yeah. that giant motherfucker i was like no that, you, that can't, dude you can't bring him back now. Yeah. <laughs> to be no chance no offense i love that dude he plays dungeon and dragons um but i mean like yeah the you only couldn't person, have him the though. only batman that could that they've already had in the past ben would be Ben Affleck. He's the only one. Ben size Affleck's comparable. bigger than him. Yeah, <laughs> and and then we. I always forget that Aquaman's coming out. Because, I mean, we had the... Amber uh, Heard debacle. Yeah, we and then at the San Diego Comic-Con last month, they didn't even mention the movie that's filmed and we've already seen trailers for. But they also are doing reshoots because now they're adding Ben Affleck to it. And uh, and then the rumor is they're cutting out a lot of Amber. So, I, I, I don't know. I, I, the, 
the first movie was okay. I, it felt like three movies that was shoved into one. Uh, it, it did entirely too much, mostly because I think they didn't know if they were going to ever do another one. Yeah. So they're like, let's James Wan, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Which is unlike yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes good movies. Makes good movies. I, I really think he's like, I have three movies. They're like, you need to cut it down to one. He's like, all right, we're cutting the ending out of the first one, the beginning out of the second one, and the ending out of the second one, and the, the beginning of the third one, and just shove those movies together. Okay. And that's what they did. Yeah. I, I mean, it's always been a cash grab for Warner Brothers, it seems like, with it. It feels like they have way too much invested in like the control, the creative control of it, which if you looked at Marvel... Kevin Kevin Feige or whatever how you ever say his name had nice. this like ability to say this is where I want the story to go make it work and we'll just worry about filling mm-hmm. in plot holes as we go and in some of the best movies that have been in the DCU I mean uh, the Marvel universe is the ones they've let people just go like James Gunn like hey go do this uh, the the brothers go do the Captain America movies those are awesome movies I don't know what happened with the Thor movie uh, and that's a pa- that's a passion project. Chris Helmsworth loves playing fucking Thor and why Tiki should make better movies than the movie we just fucking watched. Yeah, Not it, to go into a Marvel tyrant, but, you know, that's the most recent Marvel movie that just came out, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, all that all that aside, um, I'm interested to see where all of this Warner Brothers stuff goes. We have no idea. By the time this comes out, who knows where it's going to be after um, that. This is, it's changing daily. Uh, we're we're going to release this podcast soon after we record it, and I'm willing to take bets that Something we're saying, mostly Ezra Miller, is going to be outdated by the time this podcast comes oh, out. Oh, for sure. He's either going to get... I think he there's a warrant out for his arrest right now for assault somewhere. In, I heard he started a small cult somewhere. Oh, no. This, that, that's that's all. He, he has since been arrested for... Has every, he? Has, yeah. has he been? Okay. Yeah, okay. and that's why he issued the apology, because he, <laughs> he got arrested. <laughs> yeah, our uh, daddy, DC Universe, was like, you need to fucking do something, or we're going to sue you so bad for bombing purposely bombing a movie at this point uh hold him 250 million dollars liable for something yeah 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 yeah, yeah, let's let's do that so we're gonna go ahead and start closing out the podcast did y'all enjoy this like one shot issue this is kind of what we used to do back in the day where we're just kind of spitballing thoughts out loud and incohesive thought process uh no notes no notes we don't have any notes Yeah, somebody actually, uh, I was talking to somebody, he's like, do y'all write everything down before y'all say it? I'm like, I, we've never wrote down shit. Even our very structured podcast where we do like the list and stuff like that, co- totally off the cuff. <laughs> so, I mean, we, we do have a we list. We have a list, but that's basically the whole entire guideline. Go follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the other um, social media. I, I, I know we were, we've been saying it. Eventually, we're going to have a TikTok. I <laughs> well, I'm, I'm yell get, a critter about that, I'm please. Get, I'm getting the the sh- the background for it done. Oh, actually, we'll we'll post pictures on the social media about the uh, the studio that we have been working on that kind of looks like a fucking mess at the moment. Uh, go leave us a review on all the other podcasts, especially on iTunes. Uh, follow us, give us, share it around to friends that are into nerdy shit. You could do that for us. All right. Uh, so the next podcast we'll be releasing, we're going to be having our double feature movie review. Uh, now this one, uh, last time we did, we picked movies that were maybe too good. So we're mixing it up and we're, we're going back to our roots of just some 80 schlock. Uh, see how this turns out for us. Uh, I haven't seen one of these movies and I've, one of them I haven't seen since the fucking 80s. Yeah, I've, yeah, well that was, yeah, that. The one, if you're referring to mine, yes. yes. I've seen it so many times when I was a child. Yours I've never even heard of. Uh, what was your movie? My movie was the 1985. 19, the 1985 action classic of American Ninja, starring Michael Dudikoff. And uh, mine is Rock and Roll Nightmare from 1987. I, and this is a, a thanks to Mark from Instagram, uh, which is one of our followers that sent this movie into us. Uh, this is because I said in our uh, last double feature that we like, I like rock and roll horror movies. And he sent this into me. He's like, oh, you've had to seen this. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. So that turned into me trying to find this movie. This movie is unfindable. I found it from a shady website that I had run it through a bunch of fire cleaners before I even opened it up. And then I put it on a test computer before I even opened up the fucking file. Wow. Yes. Okay. So uh, I own it now and I haven't watched it yet. And so I'm looking forward to it. So uh, we'll be back in a couple of weeks with that podcast. 
Uh, until then, good journey, nerds. Good journey, nerds. <laughs>